Bowling Green football opened week two of the college football season at home, looking to bounce back after facing the high-scoring Oregon Ducks in week one. The Maryland Terrapins, fresh off defeating Texas, traveled to the Doit to make back-to-back -back Power 5 conference opponents for the Falcons, who faced three in their first five games. Despite the competition and the weather, the Falcon offense struck first as Jarrett Dagey found Scotty Miller in the end zone for a three-yard strike. Maryland was held scoreless in the first quarter. In the second quarter, Maryland relied heavily on the running game and pounded the Falcon defense. The tandem of running backs Lorenzo Harrison and Tayon Fleet Davis carried the Terps down the field for the eventual touchdown. On the ensuing possession, the Falcons kept the drive going long enough for a scrambling Jarrett Dagey to find breakout receiver Quentin Morris for a 29-yard touchdown and the lead. A 40-yard field goal attempt that split the uprights put the halftime score at 14-10 Falcons. As the second half got underway, back-to-back -back punts by the Falcons gave Maryland an opportunity and they took full advantage. Maryland's offense marched down the field and connected on a 22-yard touchdown pass to retake the lead. With the score of 17-14 going into the fourth quarter, the Falcons faithful ignored the ring for the potential upset. but BG had just two first downs in the entire second half and Maryland never relinquished the lead. The Falcon defense surrendered 28 fourth quarter points to put the final score at a lopsided 45 to 14. Wide receiver Quentin Morris spoke on the second half effort. Anybody can start the game, it's all about finishing it. I think we had a great chance versus uh, Oregon, we had a great chance versus today's game, Maryland. It's all about finishing, finishing it at the end. BG finished with just 15 rushing yards total compared to 444 for Maryland. And while the Falcons threw for 140 yards compared to Maryland's 120, Coach Jink stressed the importance of establishing the run game to set up the offense. Uh, they, 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 they stoned us. I mean, uh, uh, they did a great job up front. I, you know, they weren't as athletic, per se, as, as an Oregon, but I think uh, I said a little bit earlier they were going to be physical. They were a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and a little bit more physical uh, than Oregon was, and um, we just weren't able to, able to get anything done as far as the run game goes. And, and when that happens, um, you know, it puts quarterback in a tough situation. Um, so I um, thought uh, he competed well tonight, the last interception, late in the fourth quarter. It was a ball that should be complete in the first down, so I uh, can't ask too much more out of him. The Falcons next face Eastern Kentucky at the Doyle. Reporting for BG24, I'm Garrett McKinnon.